Bali has long been Asia's most productive rice growing region due to its 9th century cooperative water management system known as Subak. Subak is a system of water tunnels, canals, and temples developed to ensure that water is fairly distributed among regions for rice farming. The water management is under the authority of the priests in water temples who practice the Balinese philosophy of Trihita Karana, which highlights the relationship between people, nature, and God. The spiritual relationship between families and their land stretches back through generations, and special blessings and rituals are performed to give thanks and pray for a good harvest. Trihita Karana is a three concept of life in Bali. Trihita Karana is a harmony about nature, harmony about people, and harmony about God. That is uh, normally in a rice field, there is a, this called a suba. It's a use a harmony of God, people, and nature. Subak is a community water system in a rice bowl. It's over a thousand years old. It's still used today because sustainable for the environment, connected to the spiritual and culture, and it is fair to the farmer. Subak is a tree hitter kind. This today they have turned to get water so we block all this channel and the water will be big water goes there and one like this rice field will be half day with full of water. It goes to from the main water it goes to the all the channel of this rice field. So all the farmer will gonna be watering the, the rice field with this water that goes to the rice field. We choose one person who uh, we think like he's uh, old and he knows about the how working a farmer, how to look after a rice field, and they know how the water system work and how to get more people, how to organize the water. Otherwise, all the farmer in a in a rice field. They got like their own turn to watering their farm by by the head of the the, the water system is called suba by lead of the suba to organize to their all uh, rice to the, all their farmer in the rice field they have their maybe today for example like today they have the water so the next day the next farmer will have the water so the leader is very should be knows about the, the how to managing how to organize the water system and the water channel where they have to go and to be a to be a leader of a farmer or leader of subak the first thing they need to be knowledgeable about how people work in the farmer so the traditional, yeah, traditional system in each yeah. village? Yes, traditional system. Yeah, yeah but this is the it's called best. Subak. Because subak. 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 Yeah, Subak. It's very fair because each farmer has the uh, same part of the water. Right. Yeah. If they're not, they can comply. It, yeah. Or the whole village controls it? Uh, one person. One person. One person. Is he selected yeah. by the village? Uh, yes. Yeah. See the, the hole at the corner, the water flow to the lower. In here, this one here, to the lower. Can I help you? Uh, sure. About two weeks been planting here. Two weeks. Yeah. But before the water flows like this. And I want it. From the blocking here, yeah, just like this one. Like that one is 
too much, they just flow exhale up like this. Five centimeters yeah. high in the field. Yeah. When they put it in, it goes to the machine there. It's gonna be like uh, all this thing will go down there automatically. Uh, yeah. So yeah. the farmer will be easier to collect the rice like this. So my grandfather start to work in the rice field since he maybe probably like 15 years old and then he always go to the rice farm and do what they have to do in the rice field and that I what I know from him is he told me a story about how people work in the rice field the first thing he said working in the rice field should be very very flexible person we have a good when we are harvesting time so my grandfather is could have a rice pool when the harvest time like maybe 100 kilogram or kilogram something and he can feeding the our family maybe until three months after the harvesting time for example in a in a in a rice pool we have a uh, god of rice is called dairy tree so we need to do make a spiritual to the the god of rice pool otherwise we have a uh, good when we are uh, harvesting time you see the small temple there? It's, yeah. It's called Padma. It's Padma? Padma, yeah. It's a place for the god of the uh, high school. It's called Devi. Devi Sri. Devi. Devi Sri. Nasi is... Uh, rice is... Uh, in Balinese word is Nasi. Nasi is mean like where we cook the rice and steam the rice is... When it finishes, it becomes Nasi. Which Balinese people call Nasi. So... Nasi is a first thing that we use to make an offering to the God every morning and afternoon and evening. So because we are in Bali, we always do a spiritual that we say thanks to the God. We are make an offering from rice. It's called like Nasi to the sum of our temple in our family compound. Subak 
uh, temple is uh, is very very important for farmer who work in the rice pool because that is the place where we offering uh, uh, say thank you to the god of the rice pool and we make offering every most every single day to that temple because we say thank you to the god of the rice pool otherwise they will look after our rice pool and give us more rice when we do a harvest in time the only thing that people in bali now to get more money to have maybe huge money to make a business in bali the only way they can just half of the land they sell or maybe they might be lease the land to get more money then when they get money local people like a farmer they decided to build a house or a restaurant or a hotel for business because that is the only thing in bali now it's good to make a business with foreigner people because we are balinese the only thing we have we don't have a value uh, a thing in bali we only have uh, a natural and a land so we try to organize our land like maybe half of our land we release it and then or maybe we sell it to get more money and we make business because like now our generations especially like this this year it's a lot of a generation they studied in go to university they wouldn't do a work as farmer anymore so that's why most of the farmer now they they trying to plan maybe lease the land otherwise they get more money and they can build a business on their own land because like what we have in Bali is very common to build a business uh, but the young uh, generation nowadays they wouldn't do as a farmer anymore because that's why the parents especially the farmer they have an a little bit issue regarding how to how is in the future our rice pool so some of the they decided a young generation they don't want to be a farmer anymore the tourist industry has created a new middle class with western values that often conflict with those of traditional society including the spiritual concept of trihita karana for most families their only asset is land passed down from generation to generation but in a changing economy many farmers are choosing to sell all or part of their land for development and many young balinese are choosing to attend university to study tourism and business and connect with the larger world Thank you.